So let's do some more. Again, you can draw the graph of the function if you want, but then alternatively, you can simply rely on the how the function was defined. Let's say for this one, let's proceed with this one. Using one-sided limits, what can you say about the limit of the function as x approaches negative 2? So let's start with the first one. Limit from the left of negative 2. Alin ang kailangan natin dyan, which is the first, uh, which of the three conditions? There are only three conditions, x less than negative 2, x between negative 2 and 1, and x greater than 1. For the first one, limit from the left of negative 2. Ano ang kailangan natin? Definitely ang kailangan natin ay yung first condition, ano? From the left. Okay, and what will be the limit of f of x as x approaches negative 2 from the left? Ano makukuha natin? Negative 2 times negative. A negative of negative 2 will just be a negative 5 ba? Be careful. Negative of negative 2 is 2. Yeah, ingat na. Negative 1. Okay, just be very careful. I know there are lots of negatives. Just be very careful. Okay? So for this, nalito din ako ng una. Kaya na, di ba? Limit from the left of this. So it will be the limit. Okay, sulat ko lang muna ha. This will be the limit of negative x. Sorry, nalimut ako yung negative. Negative x minus 3. X approaches negative 2 from the left. And upon substitution of negative 2, negative 2 times neg negative of negative 2 is 2. 2 minus 3 is, yeah, negative 1. Okay, just be very careful, okay, sa, sa values. Okay, nangyayari talaga yan. Okay, and the next limit from the left of negative 2, definitely the limit from the left will be the second condition. All those values greater than negative 2. And what will that be? So it will just be negative 2 squared. Shortcut ko na lang dito, ha? Negative 2 squared, which is 4. Negative 4 plus 3, that will give us negative 1. Okay? So di pala siya mahirap, ano? If the functions are explicitly defined, you just look for the proper condition. Limit from the right of negative 2 is that part that are great, that part greater than negative 2. So the limit from the left is negative 1. The limit from the right of negative 2 is negative 1. The two are equal. So thus, we can say that the limit of the function as x approaches negative 2 is, in fact, equal to negative 1. Okay, so that is how you use one-sided limits. You get, get, just get the limit from the left, get the limit from the right. But then do be very careful. You have to choose the proper condition that is uh, consistent with the limit behavior that you need. Limit from the left, one and once again, are the values that are less than the value. In this case, less than negative 2. Limit from the right, yun among greater than negative 2. Okay, so thank you for this one. Of course, ngayon siguro, curious naman kayo, ano naman mangyayari? The limit of the function as x approaches 1. And I think, di na kayo mahihirapan, ano? Oh, x approaches 1, may limit ba tayo o hindi nag exist ang limit? x approaches 1. Hmm. Anyone? What is the limit of the function as x approaches 1? Anyone? Limit of the function as x approaches 1. Hello? Sabi daw dito, oh, may nag-direct message sa akin. Nag-exist din daw ang limit as x approaches 1. Just be very careful in the computation. x approaches 1. May nagsabi, oh, may nagsabi ng 1. May nagsabi na 2. May nagsabi does not exist. Ah, but yung bayata, iniisa-isa niyo po. Ang tanong ko na po ay itong kahulihan. Sorry, you get, probably my instructions are not clear. What is the limit of the function as x approaches 1 naman po? Ito na po ang tinatanong ko. Okay, of course, but then I know that you have to answer the uh, to answer this. Ang gagawin niyo, isa-isahin mo muna. Okay, so gawin na lang natin. Okay, so, sorry. Nakalagay nga naman sa slide. No, sorry. Limit of the function as x approaches 1 from the left. So 1 from the left, ito yung condition na ito. Ano? 1 from the left, less than 1. Okay? And then the limit will just be negative 1 plus 3, which will give us, yeah, 2. Limit from the right. Limit from the right, it will be 1 minus 4 plus 4. 1 naman siya dito. Tama ba? Okay. Be careful in the computation. So, okay. Limit from the left. Ito po yung from the left. Between uh, between negative 2 and 1. Ito na yung from the left of 1. I know, nasa left din ng 1 itong x less than negative 2. Be careful ha. Itong x less than 2 ay nasa left din. But then this time, we don't need this. Hindi natin ito kailangan. Dahil kasi ito ang kailangan natin. Immediately from the left of 1. And immediately from the left of 1, ito yan. 
And then the function value will be negative 1 plus 3 or 2. And then from the right, it will be this one. It will give us this. Okay. So may nagsabi na rito, does not exist. Siyempre, let us justify that. So since the limit from the left is not equal to the limit from the right, thus the limit of the function as x approaches 1 does not exist. Sana maayos sa sulat ko ngayon. Does not exist. Okay. Sorry kung hindi maganda yung penmanship ko using this. Okay. Okay? So that is actually, kaya hindi mahirap naman yung one-sided limit as it is. You just have to be very careful in looking at the proper conditions. Okay? Yeah.